सो इन दिस लेक्चर सिंपल डिस्कस अबाउट सम कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ओवर फिटिंग एंड अंडर फिटिंग सो दिस काइंड ऑफ पिक्चर्स वी हैव सीन्स आल्सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स व्हेन वी जस्ट लर्निंग द डिसीजन सरफेस एंड हियर आई एम टेकिंग द सेम काइंड ऑफ टू पिक्चर्स एंड जस्ट फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट केस इन दिस केस वी हैव टेकन के इज इक्वल्स टू वन एंड इन दिस केस वी हैव टेकन के इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव एंड एज एन एग्जाम्पल एंड इन दिस केस वी हैव टेकन के एन इज इक्वल्स के इज इक्वल्स टू एन सिंपल्स एन मीन्स हियर एम एन मीन्स नंबर ऑफ डाटा पॉइंट्स सिंपल इट इज नंबर ऑफ डाटा पॉइंट ओके सो लेट सी what you will see when we learn the decision surface when we have taken the kg equals to 1 then our decision surface like behave like overfitting overfitting so before just discuss the what is actually fitting just first learn it to discuss the uh, overfitting and underfitting we have to learn first what is actually meaning of fitting fitting means what so actually what we are find what uh, in a, in a d train what we actually doing if you just remember we are interested to find a function that is called f so it will be a mathematical functions it will be a programmatical algorithms so just just if you interest to find a functions f what from where we have to find it we have find this uh, functions from our training data sets and we have used some black box algorithms to get these functions and uh, after getting these functions we have to justify its performance how will justify this performance we have using a query point that is totally different from our training data sets and corresponding uh, uh, corresponding this query point we have find its output and we, we measure this output it is actually is this output this getting output this is predicted output is actually a actual approximate equals to our original output or actual output or not if it is not then we are repeating this process again and again until we have not satisfied to our um, uh, to this corresponding output of our query point this is simple the trick actually here fitting means fitting means we have to find to a proper functions so this thing this thing is actually called a fitting up to when we have not to find a proper proper functions to this query point this thing finding this process this total process is called a fitting this total uh, this total iterative process in in a, in a, in the machine learning is called fitting it is simply a mathematical term mathematicians are called to find a proper fitting proper curve for a data sets is called fit curve okay so let's talk what is actually overfitting and actually underfitting so this thing we have seen in uh, when we have taken k is equals to 1 then uh, um, how it how look like our decision surface so this our decision surface is actually look like this this kind of decision surface we will get that is more over more more uh, more kind of non smooth non smooth curve we are getting when we have taken k is equals to 1 n is equals to 1 this kind of non smooth curve we have get just like that we are getting this kind of non smooth curve for when k is equals to 1 and when just we have simple increase increase the value that is between k is equals to 1 and k is equals to n we have see our decision surface look like this type of smooth curve this type of smooth curves that uh, that's a 5 year or 3 years old kid if you ask the 5 year or 3 year old kid to uh, separate this kind this data from positive red color data and to blue color data then can easily draw this smooth curve but if you when we see we will see that uh, when uh, we, we have seen that uh, when we have taken k is equals to 1 then this curve always look like a non smooth curve simple for this case we have gotten a no, uh, non smooth curve and in such cases when taken k is equals to 5 or something uh, value just an example just an example we have taken here a k is equals to 5 not is it is always true just for this example here we have taken here for understand purpose this is a simple smooth curve and uh, 
and when we have taken k is equals to n that is total number of data sets so in such cases we have seen that our every query point that point is does not matter what light lie on our data sets it is always give the output of our majority class so majority class means what suppose if you have a two kind of data uh, a positive class and negative class then there is this this is called the majority cup if if number of point in our positive class is greater than number of point in our negative class then this class is called the majority class then this class is called the majority class okay this is the simple concept of majority class so what we will see this c actually these cases we have seen that uh, for when taken k is equals to one we get we, 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 we have get we have got a non-smooth curve when we have taken k is equals to 5 in such cases we have taken a smooth curve smooth type of curve and when we have taken k is equals to n then we have taken for each point for any query point it is does not matter where it is lie on our uh, on our uh, uh, on our surface it's always give the output of a majority class so this this thing when we have taken k is equals to 1 in such cases we got a noisy outlier we got a, a means means over uh, means we have getting a perfect perfect outlier this is not correct here we are getting a perfect decision surface here we are getting a perfect decision surface this is not a correct uh, here actually we have get it some some not perfect but some type of a robust robust kind of decision surface robust kind of decision surface here we have got but here we have got how imperfect totally imperfect decision surface totally imperfect decision surface so this for these cases and um, this case we have done doing no mistakes means in such in such scenario we have doing no kind of mistakes means our error each term is equals to here totally zero approximate equals to zero okay here in such cases what in such cases we uh, we are getting uh, no mistake but it's a uh, it's a uh, something uh, less poor uh, uh, less poor to our noise data means you have you know something we have doing doing uh, uh, doing mistakes something mistakes not properly but doing mistakes some things means it is let's want doing here uh, uh, here our error error is not approximately zero but have something error some error we have doing here but in such cases if you just take in k is equals to one then in such cases we have doing totally imperfect job and in such cases it is actually a actually we have doing a noise data we have doing a, our job fitting is actually noise noisy fit we have considered all the thing noisy thing means imperfect fitting we have doing here we have doing totally imperfect thing means this is a lazy lazy kind of thing this is a lazy kind of thing in another language so this thing is called the actually this thing this non-smoothing curve it means it is the overwork actually in another language it is called a overwork over this over overwork kind of job here we are calling and here we are doing a totally underwork we are doing a total underwork kind of job so this thing this kind of situations when the our job is totally perfect we have done no mistakes everything is okay so this thing is called a overfitting job this call this thing is called the overfitting this thing is called the this kind of situations is called the overfitting job and here what in such situations where we have doing the jobs totally imperfect we have considered all the noise data or we have doing under work thing this kind of is called the uh, underfitting this thing is called the underfitting job 
underfitting model and uh, this thing this is the middle thing between overfitting and underfitting is called the when we get the smooth curve this keep called the oil fit oil fitting job it is our oil fit model this kind of job it called the oil fit job okay i think um, the difference is clear all of you now the question is how to choose between uh, the right k value between we have choose we have see that uh, when we have chosen k is equals to one then we have doing the perfect job means if we doing something if our data it's a uh, have something mistakes here doing have some some mistakes if we change the something of our training data then the total models behavior is totally changed we have seen this when we have taken k is equals to one and when we have taken job when k is equals to n we have seen that in such scenario uh, when our if we change something of our model of our data then uh, the model has no response it is always give our same output this is totally underfit job and here it is totally a overfit job so our work actually is we have to choose a right k between these two value this uh, k is equals to one and k is equals to n so this how we'll choose this so this thing we have choose through a numerical technique we have seen we will choose this thing some using some numerical technique there have we'll see in the next lectures of this uh, series of video we have seen this so the thing is overfitting and underfitting the where between this overfitting and uh, uh, underfitting we have to choose the right one this called actually called actually this uh, where between overfitting overfitting versus underfit this where the where between these two choose the right one between them is called the is called the hyperparameter tuning hyperparameter tuning this thing is called the hyperparameter tuning we have we have seen uh, we will see in the next next part next lectures and uh, next le uh, next lectures of this series of lectures we will see how to choose a right hyperparameters there are various various kind of numerical technique so i think uh, the motto of this main uh, main motto of this lecture is clear what is actually overfitting and what is actually underfitting and uh, why this thing is needed to choose a right hyperparameters to get a well fit model okay and also you i think you will understand so what is actually fitting means and why we call uh, this term as fitting and this is simple a mathematical term i think the main motto of this lecture is clear all of you